Hi, I'm Tyson Chaplin, Tavuti's Chief Learning Officer, and I will be taking you on a quick tour of the Tavuti Pro Learning Management System. Everything that you'll see in the next few minutes is out-of-the-box functionality that is available to all Tavuti Pro customers, regardless of their pricing tier. First, I'm going to show you the Learner Dashboard. Right off the bat, you should know that Tavuti is a completely white-labeled learning solution. Everything you see on this screen can be customized and configured to your liking, and you can make those changes fairly easily. When your learners log into the platform, they will be greeted with a welcome message, and they will immediately see any badges and certificates they have earned in the platform. There is also a leaderboard functionality, so if you want to assign points for completing courses or other activities, you can do so and make your team's learning experience a little bit more fun. Next, you will see our checklist feature. Checklists are essentially learning paths that you can make for groups or individual learners. Here you will see this learner has some courses to take, a task to do outside of the Tavuti system, and an in-person or virtual event they must attend. Since Tavuti handles event management, whenever this learner registers for or is checked into this event, this task will be marked complete. This task took the learner outside of Tavuti. That means either they or a supervisor can check off this task as being completed. And as the learner successfully completes these courses, they will also be marked complete. Checklists are a great way to ensure that your learners know what they should be doing at all times. Due dates can be fixed or dynamic, and one learner can have multiple checklists open to them at once. This means if you're onboarding a new team member, the first checklist they may see is the standard onboarding that all members of your organization must go through. Maybe that new team member has a role that requires additional training. That is when the second checklist could be assigned. To the right of the checklist, a learner can see all of the courses that are currently being worked on, and they can jump directly to them by pressing this button. If we scroll to the bottom of the page, the learner will see all of the events they have registered for or that are open for them to attend. If we click this button here, we are taken to Tavuti's own virtual classroom. These virtual classrooms function in a similar fashion to other online meeting platforms. Users can share their webcams and screens, draw on the whiteboard, load presentations and PDFs, play videos, and conduct live polling. Here, you can see all of the users attending the session, and you can separate them into eight breakout groups, provide shared notes, and engage in public and private chat. And lastly, virtual classroom sessions can be saved and be included in a future Tavuti lesson. Tavuti also tracks attendance and time attended for virtual classroom attendees. On the left navigation menu, we will now click on the Courses button. This is Tavuti's course page. You can build out as many courses as you like using Tavuti. Each course acts as a shell for lessons, and within those lessons, you have media assets such as PowerPoints, PDFs, videos, and quizzes. If we click this video, we're going to see something cool. Any video you upload to the system or import from YouTube can be made interactive by building quizzes directly on top of the video itself. We can also take away the navigation features. This means if a learner presses play on this video and then goes and gets a cup of coffee, this question will be waiting for them when they return, and they will still need to watch and engage in the content of the video. This is a great way to ensure that your learners are learning what you want them to, and this interactive video is one of 44 different interactivities that you can build out and include in any Tavuti lesson. This quiz can be built out to include true-false, multiple-choice, drag-and-drop, mark-the-words, or fill-in-the-blank type questions. You can also set the passing conditions for each quiz. Next up is Tavuti's Community feature. Communities function like miniature social media platforms. Users can share images and videos, comment on other users, and like posts. Each user also gets their own profile page that allows them to customize their background and picture. Another cool feature of communities is the groups function. If you have a cohort of learners going through your system, they can form their own study group and communicate with each other inside of it. That communication does not enter the public feed and is a great tool for social learning. Now we'll move on to the media library. The Media Library is a great place to put things like employee handbooks, technical documentation, or other assets that don't need to be inside of a lesson, but you still want learners to be able to have access to them. The Media Library, the courses, and even events in Tavuti can be permissioned out based on user group. This means that your users only see and engage in the material that you want them to. 
As we mentioned earlier, Tabuti can do full event management. Here you can see an event that is open for registration. Individuals or groups can register for events. You can even charge for event registration using Tavuti. Actually, Tavuti can be monetized in several ways, whether that is through the selling of courses, subscriptions to the platform itself, or event tickets. Tavuti can open up multiple revenue streams for your organization. One last cool thing about events is that since this is a learning management platform, you can set it up to where when a user registers for an event, e-learning courses can automatically become available to them. This is a great way to add prerequisite or supplemental material to an event, and it adds value for each attendee. This is our Team Lead Dashboard. The Team Lead Dashboard is meant to give supervisors an accurate view of their direct reports activity within the Tavuti platform. From this dashboard, supervisors can pull reports, message team members, and track a team member's activity throughout the system. The last thing I'd like to show you on the user side of things is the user transcript. A user's transcript is updated in real time and shows badges and certificates earned, courses completed or in progress, and events that have been registered for and attended. Transcripts can be downloaded or shared via an encrypted link. Now we'll jump over to the administrative dashboard. This is where every feature of Tavuti can be controlled and customized. There's a lot to see on the admin side of the system, but we are only going to look at a couple of things for now. First up is the Learning tab. Building courses is a snap and is done by clicking Courses and then clicking the New button, giving the course a name, and pressing Save. As I mentioned earlier, courses are essentially shells, and so they don't need a whole ton of work put into them. Now let's make a lesson. To make a lesson, we click on Lessons, we then click New, we give the lesson a name, and we can give it a brief description if we'd like. We then link it to the course that we just built, and then we go to the Content and Activities tab. The Content and Activities tab is where you will build out the contents of the lesson. You can add in things like PowerPoints, PDFs, videos, MP3s, interactive content from the interactive content library, and you can also use the custom embed function to bring in things such as Google Forms or other third-party websites and that's how you make courses and lessons. But wait, there's more. This is Tavuti's interactive content library. This is where you can build out those 44 different interactive modules that I mentioned earlier. You have flashcards, memory games, quizzes, interactive slideshows, image hotspots, and branching scenarios. There's so much to build out and include in lessons, and all of this leads to higher learner engagement, and higher engagement means better knowledge retention. It's a feature that helps Tavuti set itself apart from our competitors. You aren't going to find very many learning platforms with this kind of easy-to-use interactivity that can be included in any Tavuti lesson. Next up is the Reporting tab. Tavuti allows you to build out any number of reports. Let's build a progress report that you might build if you want to track how your learners are doing in their courses. Now we have the report built, and maybe we just want to see what courses have been completed. We can manipulate columns like this, and we can click here to add filters and formulas to the report. When you're happy with it, you can save this view so you don't have to rebuild it each time you run the report. And then when you're finished, we can also export to Excel and PDF. When it comes to getting users into the system, Tavuti can handle that task in several ways. You can batch import users from a CSV file, set up single sign-on so that they can log into Tavuti from another platform, or you can set up registration forms so users can register and create themselves. However you want to do it, Tavuti can handle it. Speaking of users, you can create as many user groups in Tavuti as you'd like. Once you create your groups, you can permission out your content so that each group sees exactly the material you want them to see. The last thing we're going to look at is the Events tab. This is how easy it is to create an event using Tavuti. Here you can create a name, category, and venue for the event. You can then set start and end dates and registration dates. Here is where you would set the price if you wanted to sell tickets to this event. Events can have wait lists and reminders sent out to attendees, and events can even be made to be recurring. As we mentioned earlier, here is how you would tie e-learning courses into the event registration. Tavuti is a robust and powerful educational tool. There's a lot of Tavuti that you didn't see today, but if you'd like to see more, reach out to our staff and schedule a time for a demo that will take you on a deeper dive into the system. We hope you like Tavuti as much as we do, and we look forward to partnering with you and your organization.